MediGlobe Campus, education and training for physicians, assistants and medical device consultants. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. Discipline, probing and cannulation using an ERCP catheter. At the beginning of an ERCP, the examiner makes sure that the working channel diameter of the duodenoscope used is adequate. The duodenoscope is carefully inserted into the patient orally and the examiner continuously observes the advancement process on the monitor. The examiner advances the distal end of the duodenoscope until the target, the papilla, can be clearly identified through the lateral optics. After positioning of the duodenoscope, the previously selected ERCP catheter is handed over. The assistant compares the outer diameter of the catheter and the sterility expiration date with the label on the pouch. In this demonstration, we use an ERCP catheter with a tapered tip and integrated stylet for stabilization. After the data has been compared, the assistant removes the catheter from the sterile packaging. Before insertion into the working channel, the tube of the ERCP catheter is examined for potential damage and deformation. The assistant hands the ERCP catheter to the examiner, who inserts it through the biopsy valve into the working channel of the duodenoscope. The distal tip of the ERCP catheter is placed in front of the papilla under visual control. For the upcoming probing of the bile duct, the assistant is handed a guide wire for which the length, diameter, and sterility expiry date are checked on the label. For this demonstration, a nitinol guide wire with a diameter of 0.035 inch and a total length of 450 centimeters, including a flexible hydrophilic tip, is being used, which is stored in a dispenser. After removing the dispenser equipped with guide wire from the sterile packaging, the assistant rinses it with demineralized water to significantly improve the gliding properties of the guide wire in an ERCP catheter. First, the stylet is removed proximally from the ERCP catheter to allow access for the guide wire. The distal tip of the guide wire is now inserted into the proximal access of the ERCP catheter. The guide wire is pushed out of the dispenser into the ERCP catheter over its entire length until it protrudes distally from the catheter tip. The bile duct is then probed by passing the tip of the catheter through the papilla with a slight advance and directing the direction using the Alberon lever on the duodenoscope. Cannulation is initiated with a prepared syringe filled with contrast medium. The assistant places the syringe on the provided lure lock connector and locks it in place. To prevent unintentional leakage of contrast medium from the guide wire access, the screw cap must be closed over the guide wire. The cannulation of the bile duct is done with even pressure on the plunger of the syringe. The bile duct and the guide wire in place can now be clearly seen radiologically on the X-ray monitor. The ERCP catheter can now be removed from the working channel. It is important to ensure that the guide wire placed in the bile duct remains stable in its position in order to act as a navigation aid for further therapy steps. You saw a demonstration on endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, discipline, probing and cannulation using an ERCP catheter. Please also watch our further demonstration films about ERCP focusing on endoscopic sphincterotomy using a triple lumen standard sphincteratum, stone extraction using a stone extraction balloon, stone extraction using a stone extraction basket, biliary stent placement using a stent placement set.